Hi, my name is Glenn Fennessy. I'm a hobbyist woodworker and a CNC enthusiast, and I recently had the chance to try out these new shark bits from Open Builds in some of the projects that I had going on in my workshop. And I'd love to tell you a little bit about my experience with this great new product. Here I have a magnetic key hanger that I made as a gift for my parents. It's made of three quarter inch maple and it has a decorative walnut inlay with the family name as well as walnut inlays that cover each of the magnets that the keys hang from. Now to create these inlays that lay perfectly flush with the surface, I used the 60 degree V groove bit and it did a fantastic job. Like the rest of this line of shark bits, it has a quarter inch shank and is made of solid carbide. To create this type of inlay, I first cleared a pocket for my design into the maple board. Next, I cut a plug out of the reverse of the design from a thinner walnut board. This would later be glued into the pocket and then cut off and sanded flat. So this V-Groove bit did a great job for me in this project. It performed perfectly. And these really are kind of a staple in any CNC woodworker's arsenal. If you're making signs or engraving anything, this is kind of a go-to bit. Open Builds also offers these with a 90 degree bit. They're both made of solid carbide and they both have quarter inch shanks just like the rest of the line. Now here's kind of an interesting item that I made for my own home. We needed a new handle for our chimney flue. And uh, this is what I came up with. It's a brass ring that locks onto a rod and then you have this walnut handle that allows you to turn the flue left and right to open and close it. This was a really fun one to make. Now to mill the brass for this project, I used the three helix upcut bit. And this one is zirconium nitride coated and it's specifically made for metals. It gives it a little bit more strength and also reduces friction and heat. And I'd say the coating works as advertised. I cleared out this pocket that works as kind of a half lap joint first, and then I made the screw holes and cut the outline with an eighth inch end mill that did not have the zero in armor. And I did have to run that one much slower. I'm assuming that's due to not having the coating. Even with my rudimentary setup that didn't have great cooling and didn't have consistent flow of coolant, I mean, this coating really seemed to do a great job to keep it cool and to not lose any sharpness. I can't even tell that I've used this one yet. Now, a lot of times in my designs, I'll be working out of three quarter inch stock and I'll need to remove some amount of that to get down to my actual object's height. Yes, you can use a fly cutter to level off your whole board or you can use a surface planer and get it ready that way. It takes time, it requires more setup and, and more attention to detail. So it's great when you can actually clear off that material and then also use that same bit in the next operation. And uh, to test that out, I have this object that I made here. This is a little custom smoking box. Really, I wanted to make this as an excuse to use these barrel hinges. As you can see, there's a hinge at the top, but also it opens up like a book and you get these two hinges laid inside of it. And uh, to get these to the right height so that the barrel hinges were the right size for it, I had to clear off a lot of material off the top of the walnut. And for that, I used this two flute down cut bit. Now this one is uh, blue in color, which uh, within this line of end mills indicates that it's got the nano coating technology, which is a ceramic coating. And much like the ZRN armor, uh, it has the same effect. It's just uh, not specifically made for metals. This is gonna help it uh, stay sharp longer and uh, just last longer in general. So the first milling operation I ran was to clear off as much of the stock as I needed above to get down to my final object height. And then the next operation was to begin clearing out the pockets. And for that, I used a 1 8 inch ball nose. So having spent a little time with these shark bits, I can definitely say that it's an excellent product as far as coatings and technology goes. It's up there with far more expensive end mills. Overall, I'm uh, super happy with this stuff. I uh, hope you'll try them out. Uh, it's a great product from a great company. But yeah, happy making.